Doyle's by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create a comic book panel design in Affinity Designer. Now, I've got this image I've just brought in using the file and place command. Now, once I've actually done that, what I can do is actually just going to create a, a background for this. So I'm just going to quickly create a rectangle and I'm just going to add a frame. So I'm just going to go for black and once it's stopped there, I can actually modify the fill and I'm just going to go for white and I've got a black stroke of about 20 points. So now once I've done that, obviously I don't want it on top, I want it to actually be below, so arrange, move to back. So I've got the panel there, I'll just quickly write, so it's okay. Now once you've actually done that, what I want to do is turn this into a sort of more like comic book effect, so I'm just going to go to layer and new adjustment and a threshold. Now, once that actually appears, it's going to take a few seconds, works it out. So threshold, and I'm just going to move, modify that, and of course, just really trial and error. So, right, that looks quite nice as a comic book panel. Of course, you could vary it. And you could also add some color into it using the like, multiply, or maybe average. It's another one that's uh, quite a nice sort of comic book-like style. Okay, so once you've actually done that, you can also now combine it with, and there's down here the various tools, there's a call out rounded rectangle and call out ellipse. So I'm just going to go for a rounded rectangle first and just drag that out. Now the stroke's obviously a bit too big there, so I'm just going to reduce that down. Don't want it that much. So just go down, obviously just want a bit of a, thing. so that's that done. Now if you actually want to modify the uh, that, just select that again and you can see you can actually modify radius, tail height and all that sort of stuff. So, And you can do it up here as well. There's options here. But you can do it interactively as well as the roundness. So you can create that. And of course you can still move it around. So I'm just going to drag it over to here. Now you can also, like I say, just go over here and add call out ellipse. And that offers again some options which you can move the tail around and you can modify the tail height squeeze it a bit and also make that a bit wider okay so once you've actually done that of course you can then add some text so I'm just gonna add comics and there you have it, quick and easy panel. Maybe not particularly a Jack Kirby or Steve Ditko like design, but certainly quite an easy way of building up some interesting comic book panels, which of course you don't have to just stop here. You can actually obviously then add this one and maybe add multiple panels, which you can then move around and of course export to um, another format. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.